Greetings Mac Warriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Battletech. Now, in this story mission, right now we have to escape from the planet's surface with the Starlink era mechs that Lady Arano and our mech tech were able to get going. So, let's see what's going on here. Enemy contact! Oh yes! Oh ho 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 ho! Lady Camille Arano of the Arano Restoration, on behalf of the Torian Concordat, I hereby command you to... Oh shit! Iberia, they're burning SLDF Battle Max! We need reinforcements now! Mech Warriors, our way home is on the other side of the Astorians. Push through them and fight for the Reach! Oh, this is going to be juicy. Alright, Commander going for our Highlander. Firestarter coming in, he's probably gonna go for the Atlas. Yep, there we go. No, never mind, he's gonna go for the Griffin. Okay, that is insanely stupid and will be punished right away. As soon as I can finally get a turn in here. It's just a light lance. Oh yeah, they're doing a lot of damage to the Griffin, wow. <laughs> and also immediately pulled off a head hit because it's Battletech. Oh, and there are some support mechs already coming in. Okay, my turn. Reyna, what weapons do you have? ERPPC and SRM6s. Hmm. Let's see. Why can't I move my camera? This is weird, boys. I can't move my camera. Hang on, maybe it's something... Yeah, now we're back. It's working again. So, this is the only mech that can be hit that hasn't moved too much. So, I'm gonna move over here, actually. I'm gonna move over here. And we're gonna go on the commander with... No, we're gonna, not going to go on the commander because I can't do that anymore. Apparently, uh, Line of Sight was lying. So we're gonna go for the Shadowhawk. PPC. And SRM-6 is. That was a nice hit. Crit the AC-5. Uh, unfortunately, this guy's gonna go next now. And he's gonna go for our Black Knight. Alright. That's a lot of damage. Like These guys are small and whatnot, but they're annoying as hell. Okay, my turn. Canola, Black Knight. So the commando still hasn't moved, so let's get a little bit of range on the commando. And try and murder him with all our weapons here. PPC, large pulse laser and medium lasers. PPC, pulse lasers. Whoa! Right leg destroyed, but not killed. Guys, 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 why are you so bad at killing a commando? It's just a commando, for crying out loud. And some lerms are coming in. At least the Griffin and the, the Black Knight have already taken quite a bit of damage here. This is really annoying, guys. Okay. Charybdis, um... Do you, yeah, she, Charybdis has multi-target, right? So... Um... Gonna go multi-target, commando, and... This guy over here. Oh, LRM20. Hey, never mind. Never mind, never mind. We will move. We will move over here. Hang on. Here? No. Here. I need to move to a spot where it's actually useful. Like so. No. Here. Alright. And I'm thinking to murder this commando. But also I would like to kill this Jenner. Uh, let's go multi-target. Commando and Jenner. Commando gets the... Yeah, we'll shoot it like this. Commander gets the Gauss Rifle, and the Medium Lasers, and the Jenner gets the SRMs and the LRMs. And a Medium Laser. Gauss Rifle! Boom! Yes! That was a nice hit! And that killed him! Beautiful! So, one enemy mech down, and the other one has just been exposed, and now Kamiya's turn. Um, I'm thinking to just move behind this guy here, and just unload everything in his back. Yep! Rip! AC-20 through the back! Atlas DHT! Oh, Star League Air Max are nice. What's the weapon in this thing, by the way? God, stop shooting my griffin, you annoying little shits! This, this guy has almost lost all his armor already. Just because the other guys are going so much further. Oh, PPC coming in. ER large lasers in here and medium pulses. Alright. What, what kind of stuff is coming here? This is just annoying, like... Hell, it's doing a lot of damage to components I don't want to, uh, to be damaged. Alright, Griffin. How about you go over here 
and shoot at this general from height. Yeah, PPC. Nice. Okay. Side was destroyed. Half the firepower gone. Shadowhawk's coming in. He's gonna go for the Black Knight, of course, because he wants to be annoying. Shadowhawk's gonna be dying next. Yeah, yeah, I get it. That's a lot of targets coming in. Holy hell. Okay, Canola. Um, you will go over here. Does this make sense? You also can do multi target, right? So we're gonna go multi target here. Jenner and this guy. Um, nah, that's just a low, low hit chance here. So let's go large pulse on this guy. PPC on the other guy. Just to get the evasive pip gone. See what happens here. Uh huh, okay. Yeah, he gets knocked down and he's only an SRM4 at this point. And that was important. That PPC hit took away two medium lasers from this guy. Very nice. So, full lands over here, and we still got a few guys to deal with here. Two guys to be exact. And the Griffin is still taking fire. Okay, Carib this. Um going to do the same thing here. We're gonna go multi-target. Onto the Jenner here. And this guy. This goes onto Bravo, this goes onto Bravo, the rest goes on Alpha. Yep. That's going to be nice. Alright, medium lasers and whatnot on Alpha, he's dead. And now Gauss Rifle. I've got high hopes for the Gauss Rifle. Beautiful hit. Left torso destroyed, pilot injured, and also knocked down potentially. No, unsteady, okay. Well, Camilla can actually seal the deal here. We'll move her over here. Can she do multi target Yes, she can also do multi target so Shadowhawk and this guy, and we just should to learn 20 on this guy. And that's all it needs, and the rest just goes into the Shadowhawk. AC-20, ER large lasers. Whoa! Whoa, oh yeah. <laughs> Somebody has been destroyed. Atlas, firepower, and the LRM-20s are flying, but we can't see where they're flying because the camera decides to sit on this guy. Okay, Camilla just took out two guys, apparently. Beautiful. Alright. Um, we will reserve Reynard, get the enemies come in a little bit closer, go for the mechs first, reserve everybody, okay, so, we can move Charybdis, actually we can, also, we can just get these guys just sitting around here, that would actually not be too bad of a choice, and I would also get my heat back, alright, not a bad choice. Now we reserve again, wait for him to come in. And the next guy that comes here gets murdered. Very simple. Okay. Um, no, not you. Actually, could move Reynard here and shoot this guy down here. If I do it correctly. Nope, never mind. Reserve. I want to see how far I can go with the Atlas first before I do anything. Okay, come yes, here. You. Can go here. I'm on my way. Enforcer and Striker. We'll go multi-target. There we go, and fire. Yeah, large lasers, very nice. And here comes the Lerm 20. Beautiful. Now we move Charybdis. Do the same thing. Lerm 20 on this guy. Gauss rifle on the Enforcer. Wow, breaching shot, nice! Structure exposed. Not enough to kill though. Okay. Black Knight. He's got an ERPPC. If I can get him to a good spot, I can just shoot, shoot from here. Roger. ERPPC and two large pulses. Let's do it. Roger. PPC coming in. And there were the large pulses. Okay. And now Reynard, you can go here. And we will shoot the striker of the ERPPC and that should kill it. Confirm. Boom. Okie dokie. And the good thing is, Reynard should have a turn very soon. There is... What the hell is that? Panther? Ah, come on, dude! Why second head hit on this guy? This is getting ridiculous. This is really getting ridiculous with the head hits in this game. Um, hmm. Maybe here? No? Okay, then we'll just move here. 
And we'll go on to um Scorp yeah, Scorpion. Go with that. PPC, didn't kill it though. Enforcer comes in, goes for a black knight, and of course hits everything. <sighs> Very annoying. I need to get my fatties up front. Scorpion comes in, goes for the Highlander and hits. That's all you got. Alright. A little bit closer. Go for the Enforcer, CT, and fire everything. Hmm, not enough. Not enough, but we do have Scriptis to come in here. And we'll do a multi target Enforcer and the Scorpion. Bravo gets Lermed, and as a Rammed, the rest goes onto the Enforcer. Yep, rip! That was a Gorse Rifle hit. And here come the missiles and rip Scorpion. And now we move in Camilla, and she's going to kill whatever is left down there. Yep. Oh yeah, in range for everything. Um, rip. Yeah, there's the PPC going on. And here come the missiles. God, the Atlas. Love it. Okay. He's coming in with his Panther, and he's gonna go SRM4, the Highlander, which doesn't do anything. Alright, Reynard, we will move you over here. You can use your ERPPC, nothing else. And miss, okay. Alright. Uh, what about you, Canola? What can you do? Nope, here. Uh, it will be a little bit too hot. This will work, though. Mm hmm. Nice. Alright. Okay, now brace, embrace, embrace, embrace everybody, cool everybody down. Okay. Are we sprinting now? Yes, we're sprinting. Okay. Sprint to the dropship. Okay, this distance should be good. Hold on just a second and. Poof goes the weasel. Surprise! Yang was that? Castle Nautilus, yeah. When I saw the Torians were gonna take it away from us, I planted a couple of demo charges in the armory right next to the ammunition dump. That rumble you just felt was about a thousand tons of high explosives cooking off at once. You destroyed it. An SLDF castle of full of priceless technology. Gone. Well, I wasn't about to let the Torians have it. They're shooting at us, remember? Yes, Mr. Retanen, of course. You're right. It had to be done. Alright, uh, I'm gonna move the Atlas, get this guy over here, got a funny feeling, let's get a little bit closer here. This is Lady Arano to the IDRS Delphidas, Captain Gragas, do you hear me? Lady Arano, thank the gods, we've got a visual on you and your lands, get your people on board and we'll get you out of there. Thank you, Captain. Wait, what was that? Um, hello. Ouch! That wasn't nice. I put dropship. That was an unarmed support ship, you animal! There was no need for you to target it. Tell that to the crew of the New Grange. How do you know about that? Ostergaard? Answer me! He cut the line. What's the status of the Leopard, Doc? Docking clamps are still locked down tight, but I've opened the doors to engineering. We can manually disengage the clamps from there. I'll go prepper for takeoff. Darius, I'll need your help with the clamps. Yeah, I'm on it, Lady Arano. I suggest that you head deeper into the valley. They'll have a harder time targeting with their artillery in there. And keep your eyes on the sky. Maya will be on her way directly. Alright. So, get to secondary LZ over there, and artillery will hit soon, so we need to be careful about that. Um, let's get ourselves sprinting. Oh, enemy contacts. Alright. Black Knight, and there is our Griffin. Okay, what do we have? Uh, can't really tell. Let's get the Griffin sprinting in. Should I do that? No, never mind. Does this, does this guy have... No, he doesn't have... Okay, you know what? We'll reserve. We'll see if they come closer. Okay, there's a Vindicator coming in. 
Some lurms into a Highlander, Highlander does not care, but now I know what that is. And now I can move Reynard and not do anything. Maybe jump Reynard. Still not do anything. Well, that's a little bit sad, but we can jump him. And brace. Canola. Oh yeah, he can do something. Move him over here or over here. Two evasive pips. Aha. Uh -huh. On to the Vindicator we go. Full alpha. Beautiful. Nice hit. Nice hit. But that's a fresh Vindicator. Actually can take some shots here. Let's get Charybdis into the fight. And we'll do the same thing. Full alpha strike. No pity, no mercy, no regret. Oh, gosh, I've hit on the leg. That was beautiful. Yeah, he's he's got a problem now. Let's see what's happening here. Whoop, PPC. All right. Kamea. She can't get into range for direct fire, but what she can do is she can move over here and at least get the lurms going and drop this guy. Yeah, he should be falling. Come on, fall down. Knock down. Beautiful. All right. Minus one initiative. Okay, more mechs coming in. Reynold, move in over here. And you will be PPCing and SRMing this poor dude onto the CT, hopefully killing him. That looks good. Perfect. Max minus one. Mm -hmm. Griffin coming in. Going for a Black Knight. I need to be careful. Yeah, structure is being exposed. Uh, I need to be leading with the Highlander and everything else, so we have to reserve Canola. Canalda? Canola? I don't. Whoa! 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 Okay, those were three PPCs, that means that there is definitely an awesome down here. Ooh, and the Zeus as well. Okay. Well, we go for the Griffin. Uh, let's go Precision Strike, CT on the Griffin, and fire everything. Did we open him up? No, not quite. Ooh, and the Battlemaster. I want this mech. I so want this mech. I have to do AC-20 headshot if you want to get it. My armor's melting off. So, Camilla, can you finally get in range to shoot something here? From here. But not what I want to shoot. From here. At least I can shoot this guy, okay. So we'll fire everything onto the Griffin here. AC-20 misses. That was the big one that should not have missed. At least the misses are going in and he gets knocked down. That means we can use Kanalda, Kanalda, whatever his name is. Ooh, Zeus is coming in. Going straight for the Black Knight, of course. And of course, hitting internal again, because why not? Because I'm lucky. God, you're annoying. Okay, Kanalda. <sighs> Kinda have to go over here. Where can I hit these guys? Doesn't have jump jets. That is which torso? Right torso. So I might need to move like this. Present the left torso. Nah, this won't work. This could somehow work. If I move like this. Oh well, cool advent. Should we go precision strike? No, we need to just kill the Zeus normal way. Fire everything! That was good, that went internal. Alright. Artillery is firing. We're out of the artillery fire zone though, that's good. Okay, Reynard. I need to take out this guy over here, so we'll move over here. We still have a little bit of armor to tank with. We need to go for the griffin here. Side trosso. Oh, it hit, but it didn't hit in the way that I wanted it to hit. 
Um, Can I once again fire everything? Oh, we'd alert. That's better. Good hit on the Zeus. So good armor removal, but nothing went internal. Griffin is standing up now. He still has all his weapons, right? Yeah, so he still has the PPC and the LM10. I hope he goes for a different target here. Maybe a big ass target up front, like the Highlander. Yep. Need to be careful though, I don't want to lose this thing. I need to get Camilla up front, that's the thing. Camilla needs to be up front, she's in the freaking Atlas. There we go. On to the Griffin. No, oh, hang on, multi target. Griffin and Zeus. Lurm and SRMs on the Zeus. The rest goes on the Griffin. Fire! That ah, was a good shot. Very nice. Yeah, he's dead. And that was a nice internal damage as well. Oh, this is an awesome coming in as well. So awesome. Oh, holy hell. Yep. That Black Knight is gonna die. Unless we can get this sorted out quickly. Charybdis. Moving over here. Multi target Griffin and Zeus. LRM, SRM, rest on the Griffin. And now we pray. Yep, Griffin's done. Three enemy mechs remaining. Zeus is our first target that we need to kill. That was good. It just took away the LRM 15 though, so the rest isn't too damaged yet. Going for the Atlas. That's actually the right target I wanted to take. I want to try and get a headshot on the Battlemaster. Would be so, it would be so sick if we could get the headshot on the battle. Just stop that! Left arm destroyed. Medium laser gone. Okay, that's not nice. I will rain fire on your and smile. Okay, Reynard. Um, let's get you over here. Get a little bit evasive. It's risky, but I can't do anything about it. I have to do it. Fire everything on the Zeus, hopefully kill it. Nope, we didn't kill it. Okay, Canola. Uh, we move you over here. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter anyway, so let's just shoot this guy. A lot of weapons. Like so. And pray. Okay, Zeus is down. Awesome and Battlemaster remain. I'm gonna go for cockpit shots. Yikes! Stop shooting! Like, don't you have anybody else to shoot? You stupid awesome. Ouch. <laughs> Just goes for single fire of the awesome. Alright. Charybdis, um... We'll move you here. Precision strike on the Battlemaster, go for cockpit. 2% chance to hit. That's quite low, but whatever. Nope, didn't work. And Battlemaster on the Atlas. I'm gonna go for a close range shot with the Atlas. See if that works. So, Kamiya, gotta go here. Precision strike on the Battlemaster. Cockpit. I need to be careful with our heat though. And should we just leave the e uh, medium pulses out? Or should we just leave the ER largest out? Yeah, medium pulses are better. Go for head once again. Nope, but we almost took away the leg. All right. Reporting a critical strike. Mm, artillery fire coming in. Your son was about the new Grange, wasn't he? That's what this is about. He was captain of the new Grange. You spoke with him. I listened to his flight recorder. I heard you order his death. Yeah, she told him to get stop what he was doing. If that is the truth, then you know I asked him to stand down. He was under orders. He couldn't stand down, but even if he could, do you think it would matter? He was my son. Nothing you say or do can make this right. The only restitution I've accept is your death. And so, Lady Arano, I am coming for you. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. Okay. My turn. Yes, 
Um, Reynard, you can go here. And we will once again go onto the Battlemaster. Some more damage onto him. Canalda, um, if I move him here, he should be not in direct range of this guy anymore. And we will go for the Battlemaster. PPC hits, large pulse hits as well. Enemy turn. Awesome, I'm coming in. Oh! No! Of, of course you do a head hit. That's the third time somebody has hit a head here on my guys. He's again spreading his stupid PPC. This is so annoying, but this time he missed. Alright. Okay. Charyptis. It is time to go mech wrestling, I feel. Or actually, no, we still have one precision strike left. On the head. Let's try this one again. See, even if I try to hit the head, I can't hit it. <laughs> These guys are all really, really bad. Oh, he's unsteady now. Yikes! I can drop him, actually, um, I feel. Yeah, I should be able to drop him. By. If I lure him. So, we will go ahead and we will go um, on the Battlemaster. SRMs. Oh, you know what? Everything. Doesn't matter. Leg destroyed, PPC destroyed, and knocked down. Beautiful. Reynard, you can get behind this guy, actually. No, actually, you can go here. No, here. No, here. This will work. And we will try to hit the other leg here. Nope, side toast is destroyed. Never mind. Yeah, we don't get salvage on this guy. Forget about it. Alright, Kanada, same thing. We move you over here. And we will go on to the Battlemaster leg. Confirmed. Nope. City destroyed, never mind. Well, that just leaves the awesome. The stupid awesome. And he's gonna go for the Atlas. Perfect! That's the one target I wanted him to go for. Let's take this guy down. Get Kamiya into his back. Can we get into his back? No, we can't. But we can melee him. I don't want to do that right now. What I want to do is get close and shoot all my weapons. Copy that. Oh, yes. See that? Nice pain. Now we do the same with Charybdis. See how much... No, no, multi-target. Attack. Uh, no. Maybe move first. We can't get to his backline, can we? No. Or can we? Yes, we can. Okay, well, in this case, get into his back, jump jets on the Highlander and fire everything. Precision strike. Um, all of these have one PPC, right? No? So left torso? Or right torso? Right torso. Fire. Nope, we didn't get it. Not quite. But he's unsteady now. So if we hit him with Reynard, or just shoot him in the back, he should actually fall down. Let's do that. Yep, destroy two PPCs, and he should be knocked down. Badumch. And now we can go ahead to coolant vent. Get canola in close, and exert a little bit of revenge here by going with a cold shot to the head with all our weapons that we still have left. Maybe, just maybe hit it. Nope, these guys are terribly bad, I can't hit anything, and I think we're going to lose some someone here now. Because he's gonna melee one of these two dudes. No, he's running, okay. I'm being flanked. Oh, one PPC to the side. Uh, into the into the uh, backside of Kamea. Alright, well, you all want to see it, here we go. Atlas melee. The biggest slap that we have in this game. Boom, straight through the CT, rip. Oh, we're out of combat, and now we can run towards the extraction zone, get our guys out of there. Okay. We're there. Everybody's in the extraction zone, and that should be the match. 
I've got you, Lady Orano. Setting a return course to the Argo. We need to fall back to restoration space while we still can. Thank you, Miss Meyer. And you, Commander. You've saved my life. The both of you. I wouldn't be too sure about that. If the Torians, my people, are on the Directorate's side, I don't know if any of us will ever be safe again. Mission successful. Nice. Let's see what kind of payday we get out of this. One point seven million credits. See bills. Lots of mechs uh, damaged and whatnot. People are injured, but that's okay. They are not my people. <laughs> I'm terrible. So what do we get from this? Lots of parts. You can get a battle master part. You can get an awesome part. Let's take the battle master, the awesome part for now. Let's see what else we can get. We could get a full panther, yay, or a Zeus part, another one. Hmm. Just one missile launch on that though. Large laser, triple plus, plus ten damage, plus three accuracy. Mm hmm. Lots of medium lasers. Machine guns, PPCs, SRS, SM6 double plus, but just could. Cockpit mod. Gyro tensibility table. No, no. Yeah. I think I've got myself what I want to take from this. I'm just wondering whether I should take the Zeus part over the uh, large laser. Realistically speaking, how often do I use a large laser? Not at all. But it would be amazing for cockpit hunting. I mean, plus 10 damage and then plus 3 accuracy. It's not too bad. Huh. Or the Zeus part. I already have one part. Now I would have two. It's difficult. I definitely want to have the cockpit mod. Since I'm not using that much large lasers, I'm going to get the Zeus part. Because the Zeus can also carry two, two AC-20s. Let's do it. <sighs> Confirm. Awesome, Battlemaster Zeus part. And we get the SRM-6. Alright. Continue. Value of salvage, 21.6 million. <laughs> nice. That was a long mission. I just played this in the previous mission back-to-back, -back, so... Um, this was a long, long mission. Now I'm looking forward to going back to being a mercenary for a little bit. Getting some more cash in and hopefully uh, hunting for some onions. Ooh, story time. This isn't over, Lady Arano. I will find you. And my son will be avenged. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. It's quite a hot-headed ginger. Maybe an AC-20 round will cool him down. Damage report. Alright, that was a nightmare, but we're finally through it. I've quarantined the Locura in secondary storage, and I've shut down the drive. It can't hurt us anymore. Excuse me, Doc. The what? That malicious code from Nautilus, it's what I'm calling it now, Locura, like Lady Arano's story. It needed a name, and it's, this seemed as appropriate as anything else. Any objections? I don't care what we call it, Doc, I just want to know that, uh, what we're gonna do with it. What we're going to do is leave it alone. Secondary storage is now officially off-limits. That means no more Starlink maps, no hidden archive, nothing. Put some yellow tape around it if you need to, whatever you have to do to remind yourselves, just don't touch it. Okay. Nobody will touch anything or they'll have me to answer to. So Maya was right, this entire story episode was a terrible mistake. We're still alive, Lady Arano, we've even recovered a few battle mechs. I am calling that a win! Don't know if I'd go that far, but I'm glad we're still breathing. Are you sure that the rest of the agro systems are secure for us? I mean, really sure? If they weren't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I'm about 90% certain that the code was trying to detonate our fuel reserves. If it were still doing damage, the Argo probably wouldn't uh, would have exploded by now. Alright, you all heard the dog, hands off the secondary storage. Let's move on, we have other problems to discuss. Like the fact that we're fighting the Torians now. Sure, let's talk about that. How the hell did that happen? 
I mean, I get that we killed the Commodore's son, but people die every day. Nations usually don't go to war over them. I think that the Directorate has been in bed with the Torians for a while now, Yang. That's where their weapons have been coming from. If ships like the Newgrange had been running weapons to the Directorate since our victory on Valdry, and the Newgrange was a Torian vessel, it stands to reason that Espinosa and Protector Calderon have been doing business on the sly ever since the war started. Right now, the why of it doesn't matter. The Torians have just declared war on the Restoration and that changes everything. Alexander, I need you to contact Lady Centrella and arrange a war council. Maybe she can help us dig ourselves out of this. I'll need you there as well, Commander. Be ready to set a course for Veldry. Roger that, Lady Rano. When we hear from you, we'll come running. Good. In the meantime, I must return to our people. In the face of the Torian war machine, I feel that our system may begin to abandon us. The founding houses that we've already liberated need to see that our cause isn't lost. You sure about that? Cause from where I'm standing, things aren't looking good. I will find us a way out of this, Mr. Vertanen. I swear it on my father's name. Then thanks for your help on Archer, I offer you this Starlink era Highlander TTB. May it carry you to victory in the days to come. That Beautiful! Highlander 732B. A gauze rifle. Nice. We're deep in Directorate Space Commander, there won't be any work for us here, so we'll need to put a course back to the Restoration. Come to Navigation when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that in a sec, but first, guys... First, let's go ahead, get to the mech bay, and celebrate our newest baby, the Highlander. Let's move the Highlander over here, I've got a, got a feeling here. So we need to repair the Jäger mech. Um, we we'll also need to refit the Jäger mech, and I'll, I'll show you the reason for that in a second. Let's have a look at the Highlander weapon systems for now. So the Highlander can mount two weapons over here, and look how many slots the AC-20 takes. Do you see what I'm getting at with that? Yeah. So, the first thing you need to do is remove the AC-20 from our Jäger mech. Or switch it out at least for normal AC-20. Like, remove this and give it a, new, a normal one. Um, and repair everything. Confirm. And now... I'll let you know when that's we can refit the Highlander. Wow, this is going to be so juicy. This is a nice build for this mech. It's not a bad build, but... We need to build a TTB build, right? Actually, no, never mind then. Uh, cancel. Um, I need to think about this real quick. So I need to. Have, I want to have the Banshee, I want to have the Highlander, I want to have the Jäger mech as a learn boat, and I'm probably going to bring the Grasshopper then. So I need to remove something from the Grasshopper though. Actually, we have to remove quite a few things from the Grasshopper. Come to think of it, um, let's get the medium lasers of accuracy here. Uh huh. Get the gyro and get the targeting computer. Actually, no, we need the targeting computer in there. Move that into the middle. And we need to add normal medium lasers. Or well, we could add a large laser, actually. That's actually not a bad idea. Get this thing a little bit more in range by adding a large laser to here. Need to lose 1.5 tons, though, so lose a small laser. Lose a small laser, lose a small laser, and we're good. Firepower goes down a big time though. Because we're losing all those small lasers. But now we have a larger laser. Nah. Do I really want the large laser here? Well, we can try it like that, see what happens. Confirm. Now onto the Highlander boys. This is the juicy part. And if you're still with us, this is the juicy part. Strip this mech. Now first things first, this is an assault mech. It needs armor. I don't care what anybody says, this is an assault mech, it needs armor. If it doesn't have a, it doesn't have armor, it's not an assault mech. Alright, this looks very assaulty now. We can actually take away a little bit of the, of the CT here as well. Um, I can add a little bit more armor here, I feel, to just even this thing out. There we go. Okay. AC-20 double plus. AC-20. Now we need ammo for all these AC-20s. 
One ton, two tons. Actually, I only have two tons of Ace-20 ammo left. That is stupid. So this would only have five shots. Um, we'll have to come back to this later on. I need to remove some of the ammo then from our um, Jäger mech. Um, this thing now needs some other weapons. It has two slots for missiles, so we'll use SRMs. We could use SRM-6s. That's, yeah, that still works. Perfect. And then here's the thing. We could add medium lasers, or we just leave it like that. Which is amazing firepower already. Um, we need SRM-6 ammo, or SRM ammo. So we'll add two tons of SRM ammo. That should be plenty. And then we have to add our what is it, equipment here. Our cockpit mod goes in here. Our gyro goes in here. And now I have... Now here's the thing. Let's say I bring two more tons of AC-20 ammo. We have six tons to work with. Small lasers for point defense. Heat sinks. I have half a ton. Hmm, here's the thing. I will probably just remove a small laser here. I need two more tons of AC-20 ammo. So right now I have two more tons available. So we get two more heat sinks. Or oh, we don't have jump jets. Okay, never mind then. So heat sinks are in place. The only thing I need to do is two more tons of ammo and we're in business. It's gonna take 13 days to repair or get this thing up and running. But this is going to be a beast, guys. This thing does 200 damage from the AC-20s, plus the SRM-6s, um, 8x6, that is um, 48. So this thing does 300 damage, alpha strike power. It is brutal. It is a brutal brawler. <laughs> and this thing, if it hits a cockpit, it's game over. And this thing has two shots to do game over on cockpits, so this is going to be going on TTB for sure. Alright, confirm. I will have to remove the ammo from the uh, Jäger mech though, so we will go ahead and actually task in progress. Let's, let's just get it going, let's get it going. Uh, check the command center for contracts availability. Um, Rigi's Roost, a three skull battle, 16 days, yeah let's, let's do that, let's, let's travel over to that planet. Bum, 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 bum. Over here. Regize Roost. Wow, that's a dangerous thing, but three-star battle should not be a problem. So, we'll travel there. Set course. course now, and here we go again. Jägermeck work in progress. Jägermeck is done. Financial report coming in. 6 and a K now. No, 515 still. Alright, keep going. Grasshopper will be ready. And the Highlander will be ready. And then we have to... Hang on, stop. No, no. Stop. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. We need to go to the mech bay. Uh, we need to remove the ammo from the Jäger mech. I remove the ammo. I'm just gonna remove three tons of ammo. I remove all the ammo and remove the AC-20, whatever. Um, we could just add AC-5s here. Uh, not like this though. Got a gauss rifle. <laughs> nah, we we'll just remove the stuff. I don't plan on using the air mag anymore. So we we'll move this thing to storage. The griffin and the cicada can just get sold here. We don't need that thing. Scrap it. So learn boat, learn boat, and the grasshopper. There we go. That's gonna be our lance. All right. And advance the timeline further. We'll be at Regi's Roost in a second. Beautiful stars. Three, two, one. We can't trade here, can we? We've arrived at our destination, Commander. Can we trade? 
No, no store. Okay. But we can't take a contract. For whom, actually? What? No contract? It said there was a contract available. What the hell? This is bullshit. Alright, well, then, um... Let's get out of this area, I guess. Um... So, anything Oregon Directorate it doesn't have any missions for us. Is that what I'm getting from this? Aya, also Oregon Directorate. Pansur. Let's see, can we find a three skull? Smithen could be a good planet. 16 days to get there. Mm, what else? Inkra. Mm, no pirate presence. I'm trying to find a place that has a pirate presence. Mm -hmm. Because if there's pirates, I can make some good kills and take some higher risk missions. But apparently, none of them have a pirate presence. What about down here? Gawson. Uh, 22 days? Nope. Also, no pirate presence. Where are all the pirates? This one has a pirate presence. 150k and uh, 29 days, yeah. We'll travel to Tarragona. Hopefully they will have some missions for us there. By your command indeed. The catapult. It's never going to work, says Medusa. It'll work. Even if it doesn't work, it'll be awesome. You look curiously over at the three mech warriors clustered around a table in the mess hall. Noticing your interest, Glitch calls you over, showing you a miniature medieval catapult constructed of dried noodles, bits of edible foam, and elastic bands. Why? You ask. We were using utensils at first, but the cook took them away. If we can get it tuned properly, it will grate for radishes. <laughs> we will supervise. Everybody gets 50 experience for a toy catapult. Great. <laughs> Alright. Highlander is ready. Which means we have to go back to the mech bay and get this thing worked up once more. Oh, this thing is so nice and tanky. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so nice. Okay, and we just want the ammo. Two more tons of AC-20 ammo. That is 10 shots, double AC-20. That should be plenty. Um, we have some more lasers in here. I could sacrifice a heat sink later on for another small laser. But I feel this is enough. Yep. This should be good, guys. This mech is a killer. If you're looking to see the performance of this mech, I actually made a video on this particular build um, a little bit ago. And uh, you should definitely check that out because it's really, really juicy. Confirm. Right. All right. And then we can get on working in engineering. As you can see, it takes a lot of time to service those big assault mechs. So we will go ahead and upgrade our mech bay now for 2.25 million. Purchase. That, 30 days time to complete. And that is about as long as we take to get down there. So, highlight the work in progress. Highlight the done. And we are traveling to Tarragona. Which is going to take a little bit of time. But yeah, guys, I'm really, really happy. Now we have our second assault mech. And it is a really, really good one. That Highlander is going to do a lot of work for us, and I'm confident that we can get some juicy, juicy, juicy headshots with it. The only thing we are missing still for this build to be absolutely brutal is uh, another double plus AC-20, our triple plus AC-20, and a ballistic hit chance mod. Once we get that, cockpits will fall in droves. Ha! <sighs> But for that, we'll have to wait a little bit. I just want to get to that planet, see what kind of missions are available. Maybe see if there is something juicy to buy. And that's going to be it for today then, because we are almost 50 minutes into this episode. <laughs> this is a long one, but, you know, sometimes you just got to have a, have to make a long one. And uh, have people sit there, drink some coffee, sip some tea, and just enjoy my soothing voice. How about that? Well, that is a great perspective. 500k? See, we lost two mechs and that's why we play a little bit less now. Morale is looking good. Let's keep it going. There we go. Oh, this is such a nice picture. Beautiful. Sometimes this game just looks amazing. Like sometimes you just think, okay, yeah, graphics are okay, a little bit mediocre sometimes, and then sometimes it just looks so amazing, guys. Ah! <sighs> 
Tarragona, four days. Into the store we shall go. What? First harvest. We've harvested tomatoes, strawberries, watermelon, squash and basil. Uh, it's for a garden party. Morale increased by two and we get plus three medical boost for 30 days. Beautiful. We are at the planet, finally. Like Let's go and have a look at the store. What do you guys have for me? Anything juicy? Um, nope. Maybe ammo. Yeah. We will buy AC20 ammo. Because we'll need some more of that. So I'm going to buy um, at least four tons of AC20 ammo. Alright. Contracts. What do we have available? Please give me some contracts because I'm getting poor traveling around here. Come on, come on, come on. Contracts for TTB. Contracts for the contracts, God! Oh yeah. Capture base, escort, destroy base, ambush convoy, three and a half skulls, and destroy base. So we can farm up some nice juicy cash here. Beautiful. So that is what we'll do in the next episode. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment. This one was a long one. Um, hope you appreciate that. Leave me a thumbs up and I will be seeing you soon. Have a great day wherever you are on this planet. Good fight and good night. TGB out.